This season's insider tip is about a London landmark, Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. For over 80 years, the award-winning Open Air Theatre has been a firm fixture of summer in the city, providing a cultural hub in the beautiful surroundings of a royal park. Built upon a core of outstanding dramatic credentials, the Open Air Theatre never fails to deliver bold and dynamic work. Here's Artistic Director Timothy Shida to tell us about the magic of the open air. You can kind of just smell the excitement and the, and the fact that we're all about to do something incredibly interesting and intimate together. There's a picnic lawn, you can have a barbecue, you can bring your own picnic, you can have a sit-down supper. There's um, the West End's longest bar, so you're going to get served. This summer, the Open Air Theatre is celebrating the 200th anniversary of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice with a stunning new production. We visited the Open Air to talk to the charming David Oakes about the show and playing Mr Darcy. Pride and Prejudice, I think, is probably it's certainly a most well-known book and it's certainly the most fun. She's got this great sense of wit and humanity that was far ahead of its time. It still stands up today in such a sublime manner. Mr Darcy is, is a whole load of of many conflicting emotions. But he, he's, he's a great person to get to know. Um, he's, he's everything. He's truthful, he's honest, he's, he's supposedly dashing. I don't know what hair and makeup are going to do with that job. Um, but um, yeah, no, it's, he's, he's just a gift of a part. The cast is brilliant. Um, we've got Jane Asher, who is a British royalty, one could argue. Um, she, she's sublime to work with. Um, she's playing Lady Catherine de Bourgh and has this sort of great sense of, of potency and power um, that sort of rules the stage. And we've got Jen, who's, who's straight out of drama school. It's her first job. And <laughs> she's brilliant. She's really going to set people's hearts on fire. She really is. The character of Elizabeth Bennet is, is so strong in terms of a, the feminist ideal. She is uh, strong-minded. She just glides effortlessly through life with such a hearty love for it. It's the most romantic story I know, that's for sure. And it's great for me to play Darcy because I get to fall in love every single day. The audience will get a thoroughly unique experience every single time they come, so they should probably book every single night of the run. <laughs> Over the past years, the Open Air Theatre has built a reputation for its musicals, making this year's production of A Sound of Music one of the most highly anticipated shows of the year. Olivier-nominated Charlotte Wakefield shares her excitement about being chosen to play Maria. I definitely grew up with The Sound of Music. The Sound of Music was something that I always watched as a child, I remember it very well. To put this on stage in such an amazing setting, in somewhere that's so different from where it's ever been put on before, and now to step into what is always said as, you know, one of the most prestigious roles in musical theatre, um, is so exciting. My Captain Von Trapp is the lovely Michael Xavier, uh, who I've met on many an occasion. He's so talented. And he is the loveliest man, I think, ever to walk the earth. To work on a Rodgers and Hammerstein musical as prestigious as Sound of Music, and to sing this extensive score, and it is, it's a huge sing for Maria, uh, which again, I love, because it, it means I get all the good songs. <laughs> and to yodel, which is something I never knew I could do. But I managed to have mastered the art of yodeling, which, is, which was really cool. The day I went, oh my God, I did it! I did it, I yodeled! It's just the most stunning score and I'm so excited. It's timeless. Another hugely popular part of the open air season is the annual show for families. This year, Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale will be reimagined for everyone aged six and over. Hermione is chaste. Polixenes blameless. Leontes a jealous tyrant. With performances scheduled at 1.30 five days a week and three daytime performances on Saturday and Sunday, it's the perfect outing. The shows finish about half past ten and then the bar stays open late and on a beautiful evening. It's, it's wonderful to be able to just be chilled and have a, have a drink after the, after the show. So it's very much a, uh, an event.